Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Come on, girl, where are you going? That's not our house, come on. <laughs> where are you going? Come on. Hila. All right, I'm leaving you forever. I'm leaving you forever. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're just hanging out with Hila outside. We're going on one of those strolls, you know, a stroll around the block. She's gotta like mark every single spot. Yep, you mark that corner, got the dog Twitter. She's like, excuse me, I gotta leave my tweet in the dog street. Yeah, I got it, dog Twitter's just popping. So today while we're strolling and looking at that fluffy marshmallow booty, we're gonna be talking about five things that will let you know if you own a Siberian Husky. Maybe you got a dog at home and you're like, is this a mix? Is this a purebred Husky? How do I know that I have a Siberian Husky? What are the telltale signs that let you know Hey, there's a lawnmower. <laughs> She's like, what is this? Is this a pepperoni? Come on, Monster Mash, let's go. This is the best time to walk your dog, by the way. The sun is just going down. You see that, that sunset over there? Ooh, look at that sky. Ain't that a painting? It's just cooled down a whole lot more. Bob, you need to move your barricades. So it's a lot easier on your Husky if you live in hotter climates to walk them when the sun is either coming up or when the sun is going down. The first way to know that if you have a Siberian Husky is if your pup wakes up every single day at the booty crack of dawn. Does your dog wake up at like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. every single morning and wanna go outside and play and run around? If so, you probably got yourself a Husky. Huskies love to wake up super duper early and get their day started with a healthy routine of exercise. You better be careful, there's some traffic up here. And just as a word of precaution, something that we like to practice every single time we're coming up to a road, we like to make sure we sit and stop before we cross the street. Gila, I know that's your favorite poop location, but we're not going that way. Come on, we're going this way. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. We'll cross the street when I say, okay? Break. Good girl. She's like, I'll lead the way. Lead the frontier, daddy-o. The second way to tell that you have a Siberian Husky is if your doggo commonly argues with you. Do you have a dog that likes to argue with every single little thing you say? Whenever you tell them, hey, it's time to go to sleep, or hey, it's time to go in your crate. Do they like to boof and bork and say, no, daddy-o, go away. <laughs> Siberian Huskies love to argue. Basically do the opposite of every single thing that you tell them to do. Come here, come. Hila, come. That's a good girl, that's a good girl. Hey, come here, see what I mean? It takes like a hundred different times for your Husky to sit down and listen to you, and even when they do, they like to just take that butt and walk the opposite direction. So if you have a doggo that doesn't listen and regularly ignores you, you're probably dealing with a Husky, my friend. Number three, does your doggo like to make weird noises from their mouth? Do they like to howl? Do they like to go, yeah, you hear me. I'm making fun of the way you talk. Huskies have a very strange way of talking. Unlike other dogs, they like to boof and bork, kind of talk like they think they're a person. So if your doggo has a common habit of making all sorts of weird howling, boofy, borky noises, you probably got yourself a Husky. Huskies love to vocalize the way that they feel, especially when they're mad or upset. Number four, is your doggo fluffy and floofy and marshmallowy? Do they have that crazy floofy fluffy tail hanging out the back of their booty? If so, you might have a Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies have undercoats, which means that they have two coats, so whenever you look at them, they look super duper extra fluffy in comparison to other pups. Now, whether or not this is or isn't the case is per doggo. For example, Britney Spears is a little less soft than Gila, but either way, they're both floofy. So if you try to figure out if you have a Siberian Husky, ask yourself, do they have that big old floofy booty? And if so, you might be dealing with a Husky. And last but not least, when it comes to trying to figure out if you got yourself a Huskaroni pizza, is if they miss their pack when they return. Ah, look at that. Look at that. You guys miss each other? You guys miss each other? <laughs> yeah, did you miss your sister? Did you miss your sister? <laughs> She's like, I didn't miss you. Huskies love to be around their pack. So whenever they're not around them, they act particularly sad, a little bit off. And when you see them perk up and get really happy, when they get back around their family, this is a surefire way to tell that you have yourself a Siberian Huskaroni pizza. Dude, I'm so tired. It is so hot outside, even though it's like 8 p.m. Did you miss her? 
Did you miss her? And she's like, let me breathe, dude. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We had an absolute blast going on a walk with Gila and talking about all the different crazy ways how you can tell if you have a Siberian Husky or not. If you guys really enjoyed the episode, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It helps the pepperonis out so much. Don't forget to hit that like if you really had a good time. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup, whatever we make. Peace. <laughs>